I'll take it. Skip pull again. Boom. Let me call you a you a priest. You a priest now. You a Baptist preacher now. A Reverend uh, Thomas <laughs> out here baptizing people, kids. Man, that ain't right. Welcome back to the Dog Catcher Podcast. I am your host. And today we're checking out Solomon Thomas out of Florida, about 6'4", 315. Not the biggest, you know, in comparison to his peers. You know, using these top five, top ten offensive line, I'm using around the 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", range. But him being 6'4", 315, may be an indicator that he's probably he's he can actually play football. He's just not a big body uh, to promote. So I'm really interested to see. I uh, haven't watched any of his tape, so we're going to check out this junior tape, and we're going to get into it. Let's roll that footage. Uh-oh, I'm pulling. Boom! Boom! <laughs> double, he like, he, like, he like doubles with his. He don't just want one pancake, he want two. He want two. <laughs> Boom! He too little. <clears throat> he too small. These dudes are small, though. But God dang it, he, he, he is baptizing people out here, man. God dang, he just baptized them boys. Oh, good backside scoop, man. And you know what I like so far is that he doesn't he doesn't do the uh, you know pancake a dude and you know start walking back with his hands on his hips. He he putting them down, looking for more work, putting them down, diving on top of him. Be disrespectful, man. I don't care. Hey, bro, we don't care nothing about you <laughs> once the game starts. We can, we can shake it up after the game, and even then, I don't really want to talk to you. But get, be physical, man. Be nasty. Stop, you know, stop being so nice all the time, man. Turn that aggression up. This is a good backside scoop, though. Extra. I, I do want to see him block uh, some level one defenders, you know, defensive tackles, defensive end. So far, we've seen him pull and, and you know, pull and trap and backside scoop to the second level. Good job on the second level blocking, but... I personally would like to see how you dominate the guys up front. Another linebacker. You gotta clean those hands up. This is a good play. Good base reach. Inside leverage. I'll take it. Skip pull again. Boom! <laughs> Poo, let me call you a you a priest? You a priest now? You a Baptist preacher now, a uh, Reverend uh, Thomas, <laughs> out here baptizing people, kids, man, that ain't right. <laughs> oh yeah, he this is nasty. That dude got bad intentions, man. Still went for those first level blocks though. But he's definitely bullying these linebackers and safeties for sure. A pull a linebacker. He is, he is tearing these linebackers up. He, he could potentially be the best puller and trapper in his class. Potentially, I got a whole lot of linemen to go through, and I'm pretty sure some three stars that would like to have a word with y'all about their ranking. So I'm, and I'm going to find them. I bet you I'm going to find them this summer. Okay, we got some level one block. Can we see it? It's a good block. He just mowing through everybody, man. Yeah, do the freight train. Boom! <laughs> so disrespectful. Oh, that's disrespectful. So we, he is going to have to uh, clean up the level one blocking. Uh, you know, I think at the net, at, he going to F, well, he's commit. He had a, he has a hard commitment to FSU, and FSU is getting him a great player, a great athlete. He's he is athletic. He remind me a lot of that dude, Eddie Pierre Lewis from 2024. Uh, I don't know if he can run like Eddie Pierre Lewis, but that boy, hey, that boy can move. He got to work on his first level blocking, though. I will say that. He probably be a great fit. He dogging these linebackers out. He's killing these dudes. Oh, we got some pass pro. Yeah, he's probably gonna play guard. Yeah, he's definitely gonna play guard. 
Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. 6'4", 315, left guard, right guard. Yeah, we're going to have to work on this 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 uh, drive blocking. I'm going to work on that. Good good first two steps, though. The problem is he, he he rolling his hips way too early in the drive phase, man. You got to... You got to get a couple steps down, at least two to three steps before you start rolling your hips, man, because you ain't getting any movement. Uh, and when I say movement, I'm speaking of movement uh, north of the line of scrimmage. Not We don't really want to go push uh, lateral east and west. We want to push, you know, northeast, north, northeast, north, northwest. I don't even know if I'm pointing the right way. But we want to get movement up the field. We don't really want to go lateral. All right, we cut the running backs lane off, and we 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 kind of pitch and hold the running back, and we don't give them any choices by by blocking guys by position blocking like that. So I I do think that's one area for sure he's gonna have to work on is this drive phase and this foot drive uh, versus first level defenders. Ooh, good set. Look, good little short set, man. Like a forty-five. Good subtleness, man. I like it. Patient, physical, firm, good punch. And then he pressed that hip too. Yeah, he punched that hip. That's why he fell. Threw his uh, threw his balance off. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm he's pulling wise. He's probably the best pulling guard in this class. Maybe I gotta look at the rest of them. If y'all know a pulling guard that can do that can do this, y'all send them to me. <laughs> Solomon, you ain't right. You put your, put your nuts on that man's head like that. You ain't have to do that. I don't know. He could have some potential as a tackle man, but I, I think he's I think he's going to thrive in that as a guard, though. That's why I really feel like that. He's killing these second level dudes though. Like they ain't, they ain't got a shot. I think he's gonna be a guard based on his pass protection. He he pass protects for I already graded his tape. Uh no, I graded his sophomore tape, I think. Uh, I think I don't know which one I graded. Yeah, so yeah, man. Solomon Thomas, man. Turn up.